What's going on YouTube? Giasno right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for an iOS 11.2.x and 11.3.x jailbreak. I actually built my own jailbreak and although it's currently in development, there have been a lot of updates to my own project lately. So in today's video I'm going to present you my own jailbreak, which is now available on GitHub. It's called Osiris Jailbreak and it's pretty much a jailbreak for the iOS 11.2 up to iOS 11.3.1. Now this jailbreak is built for for me to learn how to deal with jailbreak. It's my first public jailbreak, but I think I got something very good in here too. So what is this jailbreak about? If you remember Liber iOS created by Jonathan Levin, it's something like this. And in fact, it uses the same uh, engine behind it. It's pretty much the uh, Chilean toolkit and the exploit multipath. Now, since this is using the multipath exploit released by Ian Beer, unfortunately it requires a developer account, but I wouldn't recommend you to use this one for the moment because it's still in development and it's still not very stable. And I would definitely recommend you to wait for the Electra. I just want to share with you this moment because it's my first jailbreak and of course it's something very big for me. I never done a jailbreak before and boy, is it a lot of work. So the project is available for anybody to see, for anybody to download and look at a code if you want to, but I'm going to present to you how it works. So I'm currently working with the Auxilium dev in here and this is very important. These guys are marvelous. They are going to help me with the user interface and maybe even with some back-end stuff if it's needed, but for the moment it wasn't necessary. But anyways, what this jailbreak can do for the moment? Well, if you run this jailbreak, for the moment it's able to bypass the sandbox or to escape the sandbox to nuke completely the AMFI, which is pretty much for code signing, so it disables code sign. Then it successfully remounts the root file system as read and write on iOS 11.2.6 and lower, and Chilin will actually be updated soon, so the remount will work for the 11.3.x as well. And it contains Jonathan Levin's binary pack, which is actually pretty well made, which means you have good binaries. And then it disables the iOS update. So once you run this, it will nuke the iOS update system so that the phone will not update by itself and you don't need to use any beta profile or tvOS profile and so on. And the last thing it does for the moment is to get you a remote terminal to run commands from your computer to your phone. And I'm going to demonstrate that in a moment. Now, it still doesn't have any CDM and will probably have no CDM. Now, the uh, developer of the installer 5, uh, Sammy in here, said that he might get the installer 5 bundled with this jailbreak for testing. And if everything works fine, we're going to bundle the installer 5 with this. Installer 5 is some sort of like alternative alternative for Cydia, but it's better and it's actually, you know, 2018, so it works pretty fine. The reason it doesn't have Cydia is because Cydia is massively broken, it would take a lot of time to fix it, and I leave that for Coolstar since he is going to release the Electra, which is probably going to be way better than this jailbreak I made. But anyways, for the other developers who don't need the Cydia, this is probably going to be good. Now let's test it up. I have the code in here and I've been working at this for two days and it took me a while to get things figured out because I had the exploit, I had chilling, but from that point to building a jailbreak, it's a long path. So for those of you who want to see the code is available on GitHub, but let's connect a device on iOS 11.2.1 and see how things work. So I'm going to connect my device in here. All right. And I'm going to select it from this point. Remember, this does require a developer account, but I think I'm going to swap the exploit that requires a developer account with one that doesn't once it's released. And I am Beard said he will release a VFS exploit that doesn't require a developer account. So the jailbreak in the end will not require a developer account. So I'm going to press the play button here. It's going to build it and it's going to sideload it to the device. So what we're going to do now is to pretty much start the um, uh, quick time. Let me do that. Okay, so this is the interface of the jailbreak. And of course it prints out to Xcode in order to allow debugging. But anyways, I'm going to press jailbreak now and you're going to see what's going on in real time. So it says running the exploit. The exploit started to run in here. It's the multipath exploit by IM Beer. And once the exploit runs successfully, it will pretty much uh, hand over the send write to the kernel task port to the Chilin. And we're going to start doing like the sandbox bypassing and AMFI and dropping binaries and stuff like that. So as you can see, we got task for PID zero. We got the KSLR slide, which is that one. Now we're nuking the sandbox. So we're escaping it. We're uh, pretty much getting rid of AMFI or code signed. And of course, we're doing a lot of stuff in the background. You can see in there in the terminal what's going on. It's a lot of stuff going on. Remounting the file system currently works. 
preparing for our system, uh, this is pretty much going to do a lot of things in the background. We're going to pretty much get rid of the uh, Apple update, as I said, and it says done. Okay, so as you can see here, it says jailbreak successful and you can connect via netcat. Okay, so now if we open the uh, terminal and say uh, nc from netcat and the IP address of the phone 192.168.1.9 and the port, which is 69, I'm going to press in here and say, for example, uname A. I'm still working on this, but as you can see, it prints out successfully the kernel information. And if I say, for example, ls, it's going to print all the things that are in the um, on the device and you know, on the root file system. For example, let's cd into the application. So cd applications. Uh, and we go ls, and as you can see, all the applications on the phone are available in here. And I can pretty much go ahead back in here and say ls, and you can see that I have everything in here. Now, let me actually start this, uh, make me at home.sh, so I'm gonna say dot slash uh, make me at home.sh, and it says enabling SCP, and setting up term info database and zsh support files. So if I say zsh in here, it's going to pretty much run that. So I can say ls again and so on. So yeah, everything is in here. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to do and this jailbreak is definitely not complete, but for the moment it works. And a lot of things that I actually need are in place. For example, disabling the iOS updates and of course uh, being able to connect remotely from the computer to the phone and do arbitrary stuff. So yeah, this is pretty much it about my jailbreak. You can follow me on Twitter for updates and I'm going to keep you updated here on the channel, of course. Now, this is not meant as a replacement for the Electra. Keep that in mind. I'm not competing with Coolstar. He will definitely build a better jailbreak. The reason I'm doing this is because I wanna learn and it helps me to learn a lot by, of course, doing it. But anyways, if you want to follow this project, you can go ahead and see it on uh, GitHub in here. I'm going to post code updates right away as I finish them. So thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. iOS 11.3.x and iOS 11.2.x will definitely get a jailbreak, a final jailbreak at some point. So do not lose your hope. I'm Geosnow. Until the next time, peace out.